Um, and it might be that in the future, rather than doing that, you'll just say, hey, you know, go to the stream, which is a corporate stream in our, in our uh, streaming application, and go back to the period of time, which was the start of the Jones project, through the last day that we stopped working, we finished the Jones project, and pull all the stuff out that in some way was you know, related to the Jones project, where it specifically was in that project space, or people referred to that, or it has the names of people, or the names of the product we were building, or whatever. Pull that out, and condense it, compress it, analyze it for me, and give it back to me in a format that isn't a human-written document, but it's some kind of infographic, maybe, of everything that happened and the big findings and, and maybe some links to, you know, things that seem noteworthy or helpful, but, but something completely different, not a document, but something that's, uh, you know, a representation, like a interactive graphical diagram of the sort of like that magazines create now to help you online, you know, understand. I was looking at one the other day about understanding the drought regions of the world and you can zoom into different places and click to get, you know, what was the average temperature in this period of time and how much rainfall did they have over the last, you know, you pick the, the range last six days, the last six months of time. You know, those kinds of things are, you know, completely different way of getting at the same sort of thing that's very different from a sort of prosaic report. And we're transitioning from one era to the next. Um, but, you know, we're still in a time when people produce a lot of reports because they're used to them and it's simple and it doesn't cost money and it's very individualistic. 